blue sniffers and spruce snippers. Welcome back to Blitz Greg Model Works. I'm Bob. You know me as Darkland Forms. How's it going, everybody? So we're going to do a quick in-box review. This is of Dragon's Panther F with the L100 75mm gun, which is ginormous. This uh, kit number is 6799. I don't think it's in current release as of 2018. It's now March 2018. Uh, but it's still available out there. You can still find it here and there. The kit is almost the same as uh, the earlier Dragon kit that I had reviewed, 6403. The hull is the same. The turret's the same. Uh, you don't get the steel road wheels. You only get the rubber road wheels. Uh, really, the big differences are you don't get hardly any of the goodies. There's a little bit of photo etch for the engine deck screens. And you don't get... Um, you don't get the clear, I don't think you get the clear periscope parts, and you don't get magic tracks, you get DS, lucky us. Uh, so I'm going to go through this really quickly and only cover the stuff, the big changes, because the kits will be pretty much identical other than those few pieces. And like in the uh, in 6403, their earlier Panther F, you do actually get these wheels along with the steel wheels. So I'm just going to move the kit over to the workbench and reset the camera, and we'll take a quick look at it. Okay, the box is a typical Dragon box, uh, showing the very long gun barrel. Now, the Panther F, as I said in the other video, never actually saw service. None, to anyone's knowledge, were actually completed with the turrets mated to the hulls, although they were done separately. Uh, this gun barrel is completely fictitious. This never existed. This is a strictly a World of Tanks thing. Um, but the, the kit is actually a really nice kit to build, and the gun is actually kind of interesting how they how they did this and kept it that long. You get the usual nice side panels with some nice artwork. Their decals are really really minimal. You'll see when we get to it. Basically, all they give you is the balancruits or the the crosses and a few goodies. And here you'll see how they do the gun barrel. They actually do a nice. The gun barrel itself is one piece slide molded. Um, and the muzzle brake, the bulk of the muzzle brake is actually on the barrel, and then there's a couple other pieces that go inside. Now, when we look at uh, the bottom, we see that the rear hatch is poseable. You do get a piece of bent metal. It's not photo etched, it's actually really stiff brass uh, as a rain shield that goes over the gun. A couple of different versions of the driver's periscope, toe shackles, the close in defense system, the um, the PE, the crew compartment, he's with pie slice covers, uh, which is, uh, that's no, they don't actually come in unless they're actually part of the, uh, the instruct or the plastic, because they just give you engine vent screens and some covers, louver covers for the, uh, the intakes. You can open and close the rear engine hatch, but there is no engine. Uh, you get different types of hatches that you can do. Here's the uh, louver covers but it's pretty much the same kit except that you don't, you know you get DS tracks instead of pan or instead of um, uh, magic tracks you this is plastic the stowage bin is plastic instead of uh, having the optional brass one this is you get a little bit more photo etch than this but not a whole heck of a lot and you actually do get uh, clear uh, periscopes uh, I was incorrect when I th thought they didn't have it. I checked the instructions beforehand. But yes, you do get clear periscopes. But other than that, typical typical box. Some really nice artwork to choose from. Personally, I think I've seen this way too much. It's kind of interesting to see one in uh, the tritonal with the with the tan, the dark yellow, as uh, as the base color. Although this would have been probably more realistic uh, had the uh, vehicles actually been completed. Okay, we're going to go on to instructions. Okay, with the instructions, uh, like I said, it's virtually the same kit. You get a lot of the same sprues. The big difference is the long L100 gun. You do not get the steel wheels. You do get the, uh, the rubber road wheels. You do get some spare steel wheels that are just included on the uh, drive sprocket and final drive housings. Um, you don't get a whole heck of a lot of photo etch. That's that's basically it. These two bits are photo etch. Well, this is a photo etch too. This is actually for the front glasses plate because uh, the Panther F had a had a thicker front armor on the bottom, which um, 
because they're using the, their old Panther G hull, they had to add that on. You do get some nice late war small arms, but only the MP44 is used in the bow gunner's position. Uh, you get a lot less tools as well. But uh, most of the parts you can uh, um, save for other stuff. It, it, you can actually build it as a regular Panther F if you don't want to do the really long gun. They actually give you the same, the old slide molded, which is really nice. I'll show you that as well. Build is pretty much identical again. There's not too much going on. You get a couple of options for exhausts. Uh, you do get the nice radiators. The MP44 being put in. Um, I kind of doubt that would have ever happened. I've done a bit of research on the MP44. and While they didn't seem to have too many problems making the gun itself, apparently they had a huge problem making magazines for some bizarre reason. And even worse, they could never make enough ammunition for the thing. So it seems highly unlikely that they would have done that. And as well, I mean, what do you do when the barrel burns out in the thing? You have to replace the gun because you can't get the barrel out to replace it. So this offers the, uh, the, the, in the instructions, they offer the pop and slide uh, type patches. Most of it's pretty straightforward. A little bit for the photo etch on the back. And looking through it, um, there is, oh, the pie slices, yeah, they, they do have them, but they are plastic. There is no photo etch ones. So you can't do it covered up. They don't give you that as an option. Oh, they do give you that as an option, sorry. As a one piece plastic unit. So that'd be for winter to uh, keep the crew warm. So unlike the the Dragon and the Cyber Hobby uh, Panther F, the 6403, uh, none of this is photo etch. This is all just molded on tools, which they're all right. You do get some nice uh, additional tracks. There's an option here for their quote-unquote prototype. So you get the swing open, the standard ones that would be used on the Panther G. And that's where the big gun comes in. Really simple to do, and like I said, if you didn't want to use the really long gun, then you, the standard one is included in the kit, and you can just swap it out and build a regular Panther F. Some nice detail for the commander's hatch, where you put in your clear glass. Uh, I just finished doing a, a Tiger One where I used Academy glass to go into a Tamiya kit. Um, don't put this stuff in until after you paint. <laughs> Because otherwise, it, there's no point in having clear glass in there. You'll just paint over it and it'll be a total waste anyway. And then final assembly. They do give you a couple of uh, lengths of tow rope. And then your travel lock. These are plastic. Uh, in the Cyber Hobby one, they actually give you the option of actually making this photo, photo etch, which is just insane. And then your final assembly and your color options which are shown on the sides. So to start off with, you get two sprue A's. And this is the standard Panther G hull with the swing open type hatches. You get two different engine decks. Um, I can't really tell much of a difference between them, other, like I said before, other than one of these has the bolts, they seem to be a little bit deeper and smaller than the other one. Other than that, I can't really tell any difference. The weld seam detail and the texture is quite good. As well as the weld seam texture. Let's do this right side up for you guys. Fender detail is nice as well. The other sprue A that you get, you actually get two of these. And these have your radiator cooling vents and your sprocket or sorry your your um, idler wheel and these really nice oh, where are we here we are really nice 
flame catching uh, exhausts. This is sprue B. This is specific to the Panther F. It includes the small term turret itself. You get the shorter slide molded barrel. You get the front and rear of the turret and you get the Panther F upper hull that has the sliding type hatches. Still very good. The little bumps on the turret are for foliage loops. Um, I believe they actually include should have checked this, sorry. Yeah, it's on sprue A actually. Um, they actually include plastic bits for this. Um, or you can just kind of center punch them with an awl and drill holes and use metal wire. But there's no interior detail. Um, even if you have want the rear hatch open, basically this is what you're gonna see. That these are the three hinge pieces. And then that's the back of the, the hatch. So there's really not much there. <coughs> Um, in the actual vehicle, the rear hatch, I would presume this would be pretty much the same as the one that's in the uh, in the G and the A and the D. Uh, there's not a huge amount of detail, but nobody really seems to replicate it all that well. I'm sure some of the newer stuff from like Tacom and Mangan Reinfeld will, but uh, this kit's from like 10 years ago, so uh, not a lot of people seem to open the hatches any or the rear hatch anyway. You get the slide molded gun barrel. It's not all that deep and there's no rifling but it is hollow and you just have a little bit of a uh, mold se part seam to clean up. Part Z is the lower hull and again another shared part with the Panther G. Still very nice detailing. This is where you put that photo etched piece that we'll go, I'll go into. Panther G. So it'll be common across all of their Panther G platforms. Sprue D is the rear of the hull. Um, that's your engine cover. You get your radiators. You get your Panther G pop, or pop open hinges. There is the little pie slice. That's the full one. And then there's the partial ones. The inside of the hatches. I don't really see a huge difference between these two hatches. That's all there is, a few other bits and pieces. This is Spruce C. This has the underside of your sponsons, bow machine gun, several different, a couple of different types, cast and welded exhaust covers, the raised heater uh, fan for the heated crew compartment, your uh, barrel cleaning stowage kit, uh, lots of other bits and bobs for the turret and the sides of the hull, some really nice track hanger brackets with holes already done for the stowage pins, which is really nice. Um, fortunately, they do not include the chain or pins in this kit for that. Uh, you're on your own. In the Dragon and the Cyber Hobby kits, um, they did include photo etch for that. If you're using like the Abers uh, set, and I think maybe the, the Voyager set has it as well, they would have chain in there. Now these are all Sprue K. These are all of your tools. Uh, your jack, your towing clevises, fire extinguisher, um, a no-tech light, and your um, ends for your tow cables and track cables. So these all have the clamps molded on, which is a lot better than what you usually see. Not nearly as nice as photo etch, but I mean, you don't have the finicky BS with the photo etch. Jack's really nice. And this part is not used. Fire extinguisher is quite nice. Not that you see any of the backside stuff once it's on. And then there's your, your loops. Now they do give you wire for these. So you just have to, a little part seam in the middle 
and around the edges on all of them to do. This is brute E. You get four of these, so these give you all your torsion bars and swing arm mounts for your suspension, plus all your inner and outer rubber wheels. Gives you some bump stops, and it gives you your tracks. Um, sorry, a little earlier for the cut in the instructions, I was kind of puzzled about, um, I didn't see any mention about putting the teeth onto the tracks, which isn't too bad. I just thought it was really odd because this is the same sprue that's in the other Panther F kit, and I thought it was very bizarre that they just didn't have you using some of the magic tracks that they had included. Um, and I didn't see where it was in the instructions to assemble these. They are quite nice. But it's actually in the first step of the instructions. And these are wing nuts. Tiny, tiny little wing nuts. So these are sprues F, H, and W, B. For sprue F, there is a matlet for a late Panther G. You do not use this part. You only use the stowage boxes, which the latches are actually really nice for plastic. Way nice you didn't see in a Tamiya kit. Of course, the Tamiya kit's 10 years older than this. This is the late German gun set, um, which you only use the MP44 or the STG44. So the rest you can add to your parts box or uh, using a diorama. It's really cool because these are actually shown partially disassembled, like the top covers have been removed. So for like for cleaning, which is kind of cool. And the same with the, uh, I believe that's a G43. It looks like it's been field stripped and it's slide molded on top of it. Like that's, that's really cool. Let's see if we can get that. And then the infamously hugely long barrel. <laughs> like that thing is just massive. And it's not slide molded, but the muzzle brake is. The muzzle brake, which I thought was actually attached, isn't. It's a separate part. But it is slide molded. And then there's the rest of the muzzle brake that you just put on. This is sprue G. This has all the components for the final drive for the drive sprocket, the drive sprocket itself, uh, the back covers for your stowage boxes, some um, covers for the exhaust, brackets for your exhaust, uh, pieces for the first stage, first road wheel, and uh, some other running gear and assorted parts, and as well as you get some steel wheels. I know this is a bit of a holdover from the old uh, Steel Wheel G kit. Um, one of their Steel Wheel G kits, they actually only had steel wheels in the very last road wheel position right before the idler wheel. So if you wanted to pose it like this, just like the other Panther kit, you could actually do that. Um, the original Panther F kit, the uh, 6403, actually has all steel running wheels, but it also does come with the, with the rubber road wheels, so you could use the, you could do it the same way. Very nice molding, fairly crisp for something, you know, 10 years old. Still one of the best Panther kits on the market, despite all the new stuff that's coming out. Missing things like, you know, these should be cast. So there's no real cast texture. There's a bit of a texture, but no cast stuff. So this is sprue L and parts N. Now parts N, these are the new back parts for the Panther F idler wheel, which when you look in the instructions is a much simpler version. They do give you the older version, which is all of those pieces. So you have the option of using these, it's an either or. And then there is the clear parts. There's lots of periscopes, some stuff for some lights. So we also get these lovely DS tracks. For those that don't know what that is, that stands for Dragon Styrene. And so it's Dragon's version of a flexible rubber band 
type of track. Um, it needs a little bit of cleanup. But these glue together. They are nice because unlike many other rubber band tracks, they actually have hollow guide horns. These are a little bit on the dirty side because I was actually using them in my uh, my Tiger One memorial build. One of the problems with the DS tracks though is when they first started coming out, they used to put them in like a little plastic tray or a, a cardboard tray and then they would put plastic wrap over it to keep them in the tray. Now they just send them like this. And if you're lucky, they put them on top of everything and they, they hold up fairly well. Mine wasn't, it was kind of tucked onto the side and unfortunately you get stuff like the teeth, you know, they are kind of straight and then all of a sudden they go all wonky and they're all over the place and I haven't found a way to really fix that other than slathering it with mud and hiding it or tucking it between some road wheels. Uh, I have tried hot water, I've tried a hair dryer, I've tried a heat gun, I've tried boiling water and the teeth just don't uh, straighten out. Um, for some people that's fine, no problem. I don't like rubber band tracks at the best of times, especially with stuff like Panthers and Tigers and T-34s and, and vehicles that don't have return rollers where there's supposed to be some appreciable track sag. Um, so they will be replaced when I build this kit. But this is what you get. Um, they are late model Panther tracks. They have the ice cleats or the chevrons. Um, I hear it takes paint fairly well. Um, never tried, but I have heard a lot of horror stories with people that say after about five years they start to disintegrate and get hard and fall apart all on their own. Other people have never had an issue with them. So maybe it's the type of paint that's being used, type of the environment, etc. And this is all the rest of the goodies in the pack. So you get Photo Etch uh, MA, MD, uh, MB, Part MC. This is the rain cowl that goes over the gun. You get your three crosses. That's it. You get a small length of cable uh, named R and then a large length of cable named S. Now this is your tow cable. This piece, uh, you'll miss it if you don't look for it. It's in step nine. It's actually used to wrap around C15. If memory serves, this is a uh, used for tra uh, pulling track through. And on the tow cables, you saw that there were two different types of ends. You can use either or. There was a small or a large. Just make sure you use either both large or both small on the uh, the tow cables. And you cut this in half to use it. There's 400 millimeters, which, uh, let's see, that's 40 centimeters. So that's about 14 inches. There's um, 100 centimeters in your set, that's about four, four inches, roughly. So we'll look at the deck screens first. These are pretty nice. Not quite Aber or Voyager, but pretty close, pretty good. And these are some of the louver covers. You can, if you're nuts, you can pose these open or closed. This is the extra up armor, which is supposed to go under here. To add a little bit of armor to the, uh, to the lower hull. It's really odd because if you look at the plastic part, it's got some nice flame cut texture and some weld. But if you look at the photo etch part, it's smooth as a baby's butt. That's a little disconcerting. Um, I can fix this. A lot of other people can't and would probably not even bother. I mean, it is a fairly thick part for photo etch. But for the most part, I don't think most people would notice if this was on or not. And then you have the rain cowl. There's actually an orientation for this. It actually goes on if the turret was over here. This is where the turret goes, and this is towards the front of the gun. And this would keep rain from coming in and underneath and getting into the vehicle. And then here's your tow cables. Haven't tried to weather these before. I usually use an aftermarket. But and that's it. That's the entire kit.
and that's our inbox review of Dragon's Panther F Kit 6799. Uh, again, an excellent uh, paper Panzer kit, uh, but with a really long L100 barrel. So, thanks for watching. I do really appreciate it. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any constructive criticism, uh, want me to show you anything in particular that I do with my kits, please, in the comment section below. Thanks a lot, everybody. Bye-bye.